Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning to honorable judges, teachers, friends and audience. We are representatives from Sekolah Menengah Sains Gomosang for first year 2021. We were assigned with studying the changes brought by the pandemic in terms of education. Our research will be focusing on the pros and cons of online learning. We will display to you the main differences between online and face-to-face -face learning. We will also display to you the impacts of online learning and some solutions for the problems that comes with it. But before that, let us understand the deeper definition of online learning. According to a study conducted by the West Los Angeles College, online learning can be described as any learning that takes place over the internet. Essentially, it is a type of distance learning in which it takes place across a distance and not in a traditional classroom. Unlike traditional classrooms, online learning uses gadgets as a medium for learning and teaching. So what are some other differences between online and face-to-face -face learning? Let's find out more. The topic that I will discuss is about comparison between online learning and face-to-face -face learning. There are five things that I will be focusing on. In the first instance, online learning are predominantly asynchronous. In my point of view, this is the advantages for students and teachers. They'll have more flexible schedule to pursue their education. Moreover, they are able to review the lectures multiple times until they fully understand the content. Next, is successful online learners need to have a high commitment. The reason behind that is they need to actively participate in class. They also need to make good notes, study, finish the homework, be motivated, and be productive in their daily life. My next point. We're focusing on diverse communication skills are paramount in online learning. Students need to interact with each other to get a deeper understanding about the content or to see how some concepts are applied. This is different than face-to-face -face learning, which involves more lecture and dialogue-based learning exercises. Digital literacy and etiquette is a must. Teachers and students need to be comfortable working online. Teachers also need to learn some basic computing program such as through Excel and PowerPoint because they may need to help their students with some basic troubleshoot problems. Last but not least, classroom management. In this case, it is the advantages of face-to-face -face learning. All activities will run smoothly and it will be easier for students to interact with each other. Teachers can easily track their students' learning, progress and performance. As we already noted, COVID-19 has brought a huge impact in the national education system, especially among teachers and students. Throughout this MCO, students and teachers gain more knowledge in technology by exploring various types of applications such as Zoom, Google Meet, and Google Classroom for their learning site during this MCO. Furthermore, this pandemic had introduced a new learning pattern, which is via the internet, that helps them to look for reference and information easily. Other than that, students had more time for self-study as they can manage their own times without overlapping with activity held by schools. Besides, online learning provides much calmer environment than face-to-face -face learning as they can choose their own study places. This helps them to concentrate on their studies and sort off their minds more. Lastly, students can experience a various type of study methods by joining a different study program held by government or non-government societies. Despite all of this advantage, online learning also brought along many disadvantages. So, my first point is lack of communication skills and confidence. The communication skills among students will be decreasing as they are not socialized with their friends or teacher face to face. Thus, they can exchange ideas and knowledge more freely. Other than that, mental issues need to be concerned in the society. There's a lot of students that had depression during MCO. A lot of assignments have burdened the students with the deadline. This might affect their health as they don't have enough rest and sleep. 
Furthermore, the news about the students that died because of stress to finish their assignment have proved that online classes during COVID-19 have been stressing many people and they need to take a break. Besides that, online classes also affected students' time with their self and family. Not only the students, but also the teachers. The shadows are so packed until they don't have time to eat or do anything else at their free time. Lastly, online classes have been so difficult to students who can't afford to buy gadgets. For instance, parents who lose their jobs need to find and work hard to buy things that are needed for their child. As well as the internet access also a big problem, especially to students in rural area. Some of them need to climb hill to access the internet and join their classes. So to conclude, online classes had give many hard time either to teacher or students. We also found some solutions to the problems stemming from online learning. Special courses must be conducted to educate instructors who are not computer literate how to teach online using new technologies and applications that are available. Next, schools should make a variety of internal assessments. Students with great internet connection can take an assessment straight away online. But for those with bad internet connection, a teacher can send them a PDF of the assessment via WhatsApp or other popular applications. A teacher can also print out the assessment and the students can come to school to take it. Moving on, slow internet connection is most often cited as the problem with online learning by those who are living in rural areas. The internet in rural areas must be improved to ensure that home-based learning and teaching or PDPR can be conducted smoothly by all teachers and students. Besides that, PTPTN can also provide some financial loan. Some students do not have any electronic device and are sharing with their parents whenever PDPR is conducted. So they need to buy a separate device for the sole purpose of education. Last but not least, teachers should continuously monitor the progress of their students. They should keep track of those who have submitted their assignments to pinpoint those who haven't and ask them to submit it. They should also try to be online as frequently as possible in case some students want to ask them questions regarding what they have learned. This will all ensure that online learning can be as effective as possible. For this research, we have distributed inquiries by Google Form to students and teachers through Malaysia. Based on our findings, we can conclude that 84.6% of 104 participants prefer face-to-face -face learning than online learning. Next, as you can see, half of the participants satisfied with online learning as they can still learn during this pandemic. In addition, most of them, which is 68 people, found that online learning is beneficial for them to gain more information through usage of Google. However, despite this, 68.3% of 104 participants conclude that it's hard to follow the learning development because of internet problems that always occur regularly in Malaysia. To sum up, Despite having a lot of challenges during this online learning, most of students still work hard to overcome their hardship and continue their studies in order to pursue their dreams. That's all from us.